Unicorn promises her bottom feeder existence to illegal alien line cutters. You might be a snowflake. Let's uh, cross our fingers on Tommy Lauren. Really opening up the door for us. Hail Trump! Hail our people! Hail victory! Kind of a symbol. To think white supremacists still exist in 2017 is saddening, maddening, and disgusting. I have no association with these people. Uh, I don't know about that. It's time for final thoughts, and yes, I will address the despicable display in Charlottesville this weekend. To think white supremacists still exist in 2017 is saddening, maddening, and disgusting. I have no association with these people. I have no association with these people. Classic one-sided shrug. Translation, I have absolutely no confidence in what I just said. The body contradicts the words. He's lying. I have no association with these people. And here's why. I am a constitutional, you know, someone that loves the Constitution. For a young person like that to really buck the, you know, doctrine, the dogma of conservatism. So uh, in, in that way, I think it's a, uh, a, a good thing that she was at least willing to think for herself. Now, um, if someone were to ask me, uh, who among the conservative commentariat could be organically red-pilled and could use his or her uh, platform and stardom in order to change the world and promote identitarian ideas. I would actually answer that very easily. I would say it is Tommy Lauren. I would not say it's, uh, it, it's Sean Hannity and, and so on. I think Tommy Lauren is that hope. She's, it's not so much that she is... We welcome you. Want to infiltrate our country because you think you're too good to wait in line or you're too important? Well, there will soon be a big, giant, beautiful wall that reads, hell no. Uh, the voice of middle America or something. Uh, I, I read somewhere, I, I think she's from South Dakota or Wyoming or Montana or something. She, she definitely looks it and sounds it. I think that's good. She's, there is a, you know, a down-to-earthness that is, is probably attractive. But... Why I think she might be all right in a way that other people wouldn't be is that she seems to be an identitarian of the heart, if not the head. I don't think she's thought through all these ideas, but what she represents as a, you know, let's let's be honest, as, as a blonde, you know, really nice looking girl who kind of gets angry and punches at Black Lives Matter... Uh, what she represents is a kind of identitarianism. And she's not just one of these, you know, blank behind the eyes uh, Fox News bombshells. We've seen, you know, good looking blondes. Finally, we have a president more concerned with Americans and our well being than the hopes, dreams, and feelings of illegal immigrants. Amen. It's not that she's some deep thinker, but it is that she kind of gets angry. She has a certain gusto and passion to her that I definitely admire, and that I, I think is genuine as well. Even if she's reading a bit from her teleprompter, I think she had a hand in writing those things, and I think she's, she's genuine when she you know, punches back at, say, BLM or Kaepernick or, or, or what have you. We have more to do, folks. We need to build the wall. End of story. She could become something truly independent, kind of like Ann Coulter, uh, someone who you know, has, has been wrong about certain things in the past, at least from my perspective, uh, but is willing to go there, willing to speak truths, willing to be a bit alt-rightish, willing to say things that are actually pretty outlandish. Hail Trump! Hail our people! Hail victory! Now, Americans are loving Trump, and the Democrats are confused. Indeed, one wonders if these people are people at all. Unlike many hedgehog Republicans that are used to running from labels, Donald embraces them. He doesn't care what you call him. He doesn't hide behind white ropes like Queen Hillary. He doesn't apologize to anyone, ever. He's a political anomaly. He says out loud what other candidates say in gotcha, whoopsie, hot mic moments. To be white is to be a striver, a crusader, an explorer, and a conqueror. Americans are tired of the polished, limited, and quite frankly, BS talking points paraded by the other candidates. We don't want the take no position position. We want guts. Americans like me are tired of this thin skin, poor baby, don't hurt anyone's feelings crap. The press has clearly decided to double down and wage war against the legitimacy of Trump and the continued existence of white America. 
And in Trump's America, your heroic tales of lawlessness will not be rewarded like they were in Obama's amnesty fairy tale land. Sorry, not sorry. America was, until this past generation, a white country designed for ourselves and our posterity. A day without illegal immigrants would mean hardworking parents wouldn't have to bust their buses, send their American-born children to college, while so-called dreamers get a pass on their illegal status, in-state tuition, and special student centers to glorify their law-breaking activity. The final word tonight is for the leftist mainstream media. The mainstream media, or perhaps we should refer to them in the original German, Lugenpresse. I don't care how many times President Trump has tweeted. I don't care who he sits by at international dinners. I don't care how many scoops of ice cream he asks for. I don't care if he tweets about Kofifi in the middle of the night because here's a news flash for the leftist mainstream media. Just because you're obsessed with nitpicking his personal habits doesn't mean the American people give a crap. It's not just that they are leftist and cucks. It's not just that many are genuinely stupid. Thank you, though, for your excellent analysis. It's just too bad you're wrong. Hail Trump! Hail our people! Hail victory! I have no association with these people. I have no association with these people. President Trump has no association with... <laughs> 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 It's uh, Pepe's become kind of a symbol. <laughs> <laughs>